World powers are urging Israel and the Lebanese Hezbollah group to de-escalate tensions at the border. After the Hezbollah group launched hundreds of large-scale rocket and drones towards Israel. This comes right after the Israeli military launched preemptive strikes in Lebanon after detecting preparations for a large-scale attacks by Hezbollah on Israel. Israeli forces have now released a video showing its targeted strikes on Hezbollah's military posts across southern Lebanon. Hezbollah says its attack is an initial response to a top commander's killing. We're talking about Commander Fuad Shukra. The militant group has said that They've an air attack with a large number of drones targeting deep into Israel. Hezbollah militants have also targeted enemy positions and barracks and iron dome platforms with rockets. It fired more than 320 Katyusha rockets targeting 11 military bases in northern Israel. Hezbollah says they targeted Israel's surveillance and the Meron base and four sites in the Golan Heights. Israel says it hit thousands of Hezbollah rocket launchers. Amid escalation, Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister is currently heading an emergency meeting in Beirut. Many travelers are stranded at the Beirut airport after the unprecedented cross-border fire between the Israeli forces and Hezbollah. I want to go from here to جربت بدي حي الله طيران حي الله شيء بدي اطلع من هون تروح دبر حالي يمكن ما لقي بدي اقعد جمعة Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has declared a 48-hour state of emergency across the country. Gallant also briefed his U.S. counterpart on the strike, saying that they are closely monitoring the developments in West Asia. U.S. President Joe Biden has directed U.S. officials to continuously communicate with Israel and national security spokesperson has reassured that U.S. will keep supporting Israel's right to defend itself. The Israeli military has said its fighter jets attacked thousands of Hezbollah rocket launchers in South Lebanon that were aimed at northern and central Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed that he is determined to do everything that he can to protect the country and return the residents of the north to their homes. We are willing to do everything to protect our country, to return the south to their homes, and to continue to do a simple thing. Who is hurt us, we are hurt him. Netanyahu is currently holding a security cabinet meeting that is that got over a short while ago. Meanwhile, Foreign Minister Israel Katz has urged foreign counterparts to back Israeli action against Iran and its proxies. Further, Israel's Ben Gurion airport had delayed departing flights and redirected arrivals to other airports. Flights have now been resumed. Well, this comes just after the Israeli Defense Forces warned Israelis to expect incoming missiles and drones launched by Hezbollah. Military spokesperson Daniel Hagari had said Hezbollah will soon fire rockets and possibly missiles and UAVs towards Israel. Cross-border attacks between Hezbollah and Israel have escalated dramatically in the past couple of months. On June 18th, Hezbollah had published a video from one of its reconnaissance drones flying over northern Israel, including the Haifa port. This video appeared to put out a message to Israel that Hezbollah has an eye on Israel and access to most of its security installations. Then in July itself, Hezbollah had published an almost 10-minute long video showing footage of 17 military sites in the Israeli-occupied Syrian Golan Heights. The video showed Israeli Iron Dome batteries, command centers and ammunition depots. Now these recent warnings indicate that Hezbollah had been bracing for a wide-scale attack against Israel for quite some time now. <laughs> 